So the JCB Triumph Hurdle is next then. This is a four-year-old hurdle over two miles and one furlong. And uh, there's about 12 runners this year. And the top one is Playground. Martin Leadham, King Queen, Darren Howes, French Horn, David Robertson, Flying Swish, Alex Cherry, Fidway, Ghost Zapper, Ogney Blanc, Darren Thompson, Trade Wars, Graham Clutterbuck, Princess Treasure, Leon Van Rensburg, Millennium Power, Molliet Surfer, Kingdom of God, Joshua Sutherland, Heist, Paul Rhodes and Clockwork, Carl Aragante. So, there we will sweep of the trap. The rain appears to have stopped, but it's pretty gloomy. And away we go. And this race, which was traditionally the curtain raiser to day three. And Heist is going to take them along. And the French Horn in second as they get down to the first of the eight flights. And French Horn, the leader on the inside of Heist. Then Millennium Power in third. The Grey Princess Treasure is after that one. The Orange Jacketed King Queen on the inside of Playground, but they're pretty tightly grouped and sorting themselves out into their preferred racing formation then, and it looks like French Horn is going to lead them into the next. So, French Horn then, well, they try and lead them all a merry dance in the lead. Heist in second. No hold up tactics for Heist, it would seem. And then Ugni Blancs after that one as they take the second, and then all over that one okay with Trade Wars, just a back marker. So, left hand turn then now. And then out for a complete circuit. And French Horn set in a sensible sort of pace with about a four length lead over Heist and Clockwork together. Little gap back to Flying Swish and Millennium Power, then Fidway and Kingdom of Gods. Ogni Blanc in the red jacket is quite close to the rail on the inside of Fidway. And playground just behind that one. Millennium Power and Flying Swish are the two that are pretty wide. That marker is now Princess Treasure as they take the third, and they're all safely over that one as well. French Horns lead down to a couple of lengths to Heist and Clockwork, and Kingdom of Gods, Millennium Power, King Queen and the Orange on the inside. They take flight number four. That's half the hurdling done. A little more than half of the racing still to be done as French Horn continues to show the way back home to Heist. Kingdom of Gods on the outside is getting closer, and Clockwork. Playground and King Queen. Fidway's just lost its place a little bit. Trade Wars is going around the inside, and the Grey Princess Treasure has got them all in sight. French Horn then. Still clear. Field begins to close over the third from home. Lot number six, and French Horn leads. Heist is second. Flying Switch is third. Millennium Power is four. Trade Wars is five, and Playground is six. Then Ogni Blanc seven, and King Queen eight. Then Kingdom of Gods and Princess Treasure. And then Clockwork and Fitway is now the back marker, but no more than ten lengths off the lead. And French Horn is that leader, passing the six furlong pole. And beginning the long run towards the next flight, which is the second from home. And French Horn is in front from Heist in second. Playground third. Millennium Power four. Trade Wars is five, and King Queen is six. Then Princess Treasure and Kingdom of Gods, Ogni Blanc, and Flying Swish after that one. Clockwork and Fidway with work to do, but it's French Horn in the lead. French Horn over the second last, trying to make it a pillar to post victory with Heist in second. Then comes Trade Wars now right round the outside. Ogni Blanc looks to be going well. Also to Millennium Power now makes a forward move. Playground has got that one covered. A little shorter room there was Princess Treasure, but it's still French Horn in front. There's only one more flight to take. Three furlongs to race. French Horn's in the lead. Playground in hot pursuit. Then Ogni Blanc. Then after that one, Trade Wars and Kingdom of Gods then tucked in behind them and still appearing to be going well is Princess Treasure, but French Horn's now flat out in the lead, being pressed by Trade Wars and Playground and Kingdom of Gods and Ugly Block, and then Princess Treasure is now started to get going, Heist looks beaten so does Millennium Power, over the final flight they go, and it's Trade Wars that hits the front, Trade Wars by a head then, two Kingdom of Gods on the outside, and Ugly Block, these three are pulling clear of the remainder, it's Trade Wars in the lead as they hit the half furlong mark it's Trade Wars and Kingdom of Gods, these are clearance between them, and Trade Wars looks like plenty in hand up towards the line. Trade Wars is going to take the Triumph Hurdle trade up. Trade Wars is the winner. Kingdom of Gods is second. Heist is third. Millennium Power four. And Ogni Blanc Fidway never got into it at all. And it's a win for Graham Clutterbuck and Trade Wars. Kingdom of Gods was second for Joshua Sutherland. Heist for Paul Rhodes. Round again to be third. Millennium Power fourth for Molly at Surfer. And Ogni Blanc for Darren Thompson was fifth.